When it comes to gangs in London, much of the focus on the media has been on the men. But of course, it's not just guys getting involved with gangs, it's girls too. I'm Louise and I want to find out what's being done to take unlicensed cabs off London streets. I've managed to get access to an undercover Met operation, tackling taxi touts. Over the last 10 years, everyone in London has read so many tragic stories about families torn apart after young people have got involved in gang violence. But I feel that we are even more shocked and saddened when the perpetrators are girls. It's not long until we're approached. How many people? It's just three of us. All right, let me, let me call you, I'm trying, man. If, if, if you pick up right there, don't worry. Working the door in London's clubland is no easy number. You have to know how to handle yourself. This can be a rough job. It's no place for faint hearts. No place, some might say, for the ladies. But they'd be wrong. So if these problems are being caused by this Piz Bling product, it must be because of one or more of the ingredients listed here on the side of the packet. The hit squad is now ready to roll. They sent a couple of colleagues ahead to scout the area and they have confirmed illegal activity. The location's been tweeted to all and they're going in in force. It may be hard to believe, but the number of UK households using loan sharks is now believed to be upwards of 300,000. Here on Merseyside, they have their share of lenders operating outside the law. And a little later, I'll show you what happened when the illegal money lending team targeted one suspect in a dawn raid. But first, we've been finding out just how ruthless loan sharks can be and learning about the misery they can cause. So, if these companies know that their products contain MI, why on earth are they not putting it on the tin? What about if women have left it a few days and they think, well, the forensics have gone, there's absolutely no point in me going forward, I just need to talk to a counsellor. I mean, how long have they got between an assault and you being able to get the evidence that you would need? Yes, hello and welcome to Chester, where I've been meeting trading standards officers who are currently fighting the increasingly complex war against criminals peddling counterfeit goods online. Were you ever frightened? Were you ever in situations where you thought, I cannot handle this? I actually became scared of him. Basically, he started hitting me, he became very controlling and I soon learned that I had to watch my mouth. I wasn't really sure what to expect before I met her. Um, but I found her very warm and very honest and no real bravado or rewriting of history. I really liked her and really warmed to her and it makes me now just think that is one girl who's gone through so much because of her affiliation with a gang. I'm really struggling making this programme at the moment. It's really getting to me. Tell me a little bit about the dynamic of how that would work. Are we talking about girlfriends? Um, sisters, girls that want to be part of the gang and act as honorary blokes. What, what kind of dynamic is there going on? After looking at this issue, I am even more passionate about it than I was before I started making this film. And I hope more than ever that this is a crime that can be eradicated from London streets. I also desperately hope that women or anyone who's been a victim of a sexual assault or a rape feels that they can come forward, they can report it, they will be heard and believed and helped.